What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Craft of War Tastes. And today we are digging into another beer from Noon Whistle, uh, another beer in their gummy series. Uh, this is Squishy Gummy. So thanks so much to my buddy Andrew for hooking me up with this can. I appreciate it, dear sir. Thank you. Um, yeah, super, super stoked to uh, give this gummy version a try. If you uh, remember from a review I did a couple of episodes ago, I actually reviewed um, Noon Whistle's gummy vortex um, that I absolutely happen to love. So I expect... Nothing different from Squishy Gummy. So um, I believe actually, so this is another one in their gummy series that they actually release relatively frequently, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and then I, I also heard that from their gummy series, they're also doing some like a little bit more kind of crazy and like like blown out kind of like one-off uh, versions like a gummy colada, I think I heard that they were doing. So, um, yeah, super excited to dive into this one. Obviously, give a look at the appearance, then get the aroma, taste it, and then, of course, naturally, we'll rate it. All right, so again, Noon Whistle Squishy Gummy is a Northeast India Pale Ale. So, uh, you know, or not New England IPA as we call it here in the Northeast. Uh, coming in at 7.1% ABV. I uh, don't know what uh, hops were actually brewed with this beer, so we'll try to see if we can pull that out uh, in the tasting and aroma notes. Uh, one last thing is before I pop a tap on this guy, I mentioned it during in my previous review for Gummy Vortex. Um, they got this really cool kind of like old school, like, you know, like um, pullback can, which I think is kind of interesting and kind of fun. So let's dive into it. All right, pop a tap on this one. Pull back the can, which is really freaking cool. Or brewery should do that. I don't know if it's more expensive or less. I have no clue. But more breweries should do that. It's kind of cool. All right, let's get her into a glass. All right. Get this guy situated right there. All right. So, beer comes in an extremely beautiful, um, typical uh, New England or Northeast, as they're saying it, style haze. Um, completely opaque. Cannot see through it whatsoever. Beer is a really kind of nice... Um, medium plus to light straw gold color. Um, I think I remember this from my Gummy Vortex review. Um, it, the color of their beers, of these Gummy series, reminds me a lot of, like, Treehouse kind of beers. Like, there's almost kind of, like, a white complexion to, um, this beer, uh, that's really kind of interesting. Um, you know, it's got, like, almost kind of, like, a white kind of haze going on. Um, not all Treehouse beers, obviously, but uh, I think... Bright, uh, Brightwood Galaxy was the one that looked very similar to this. Um, and also, um, Other Half's Double Dry Hopped O was very, very similar in terms of the look. So, it looks super, super awesome. Got just about a finger's here of head that's dissipating relatively quickly. Some alcohol lacing. Looks freaking awesome, and I can already smell it. So, let's dive our nose into it and get ourselves an aroma. Ah, uh, yeah. So, tropical fruits for days, man, like... Pineapple, mango, a little bit of passion fruit going on there. Even kind of like a little bit of dankness going on there, kind of in the in the back end, just a little bit. Like it's it's layered, right? So like you got like a tremendous amount of tropical fruits punching, punching, punching up front. Pineapple, mango, dominant, and then just like if you dig a little bit deeper, get kind of like a cool little dankness going on. Ah, oh, it smells freaking great though, man. My. Really, really dig these uh, Noon Whistle beers, I'm telling you. All right, smells amazing. Let's go ahead and give her a taste. Andrew, thank you, sir. Cheers. Mmm. Wow. Jeez. Awesome. Simply, simply awesome. So, a bit more of that, obviously, that pineapple kind of mango forward punch in the taste. Um, getting a little bit of, like, residual sweetness there. Um middle of the palate that settles itself really, really nicely with this beer. Um, you know, it's not super high in terms of ABV. You know, it's 7.1. Um, so that sweetness from kind of the malts a little bit, like a little bit of kind of like bready sweetness going on there, middle of the palate, um, is really super nice. Like it does a very nice job of kind of balancing out the beer. Um, from a mouthfeel perspective, it's soft. Um, and so, you know, you're getting that typical New England style IPA tropical fruit punch in that first blast and taste. 
settled in middle of the palate with a little bit of sweetness. And when you kind of combine those two things, like it's just really, really, really well balanced in my opinion. Going back in for another one. God, that's delicious. Wow, man. These guys, I have to say, when I first started getting the beers from the Chicagoland area, um, courtesy of my buddy Andrew, um, I almost felt that I felt like Mars was like, you know, like that brewery where I was like, ooh, okay, so, you know, really kind of digging them, and I think some of the beers that I got were from them I thought were the best. This is my second Noon Whistle beer now, and man, this gummy series is incredibly, incredibly solid. Like, these are delicious, delicious beers. Um zero bitterness whatsoever um it's just really freaking well balanced it's a freaking juice bomb um there's a little nice bit of residual sweetness there like i said not to keep on harping on it but like it's really really well balanced last sip and then let's go ahead and give this thing a rating yeah i really really like that there's even a vibrancy to it that um you know, almost kind of feels light, refreshing, and fresh in terms of the taste. Um, this is a relatively fresh can, um, you know, so, you know, I think the first one that I actually had, I, I had a little bit of post-optimal because I was dealing with some, you know, back-to-back -back illnesses there, but, like, man, these are freaking awesome. Like, soup to nuts A to Z, um, these gummy vortex beers, uh, or excuse me, these gum, this gummy series beers um, from Noon Whistle, Really, really awesome. So, rating from the Craft Vortex. Tastes. Straight up, I like this a little bit more than the Gummy Vortex. I gotta be honest with you. I think it's a little bit more balanced. I remember that one having like a super insane amount of muddled kind of fruit note, almost to the point where I almost felt that, you know, there was no way that they weren't adding any extract. Um, you know, maybe at the end of the process or in candy. They weren't. And so, this is very similar. But I have to say that like the balance in this beer is really kind of... Um, impressing me at the moment so i'm gonna bump this up a little bit man we are going to go a 4.35 caps from the noon whistle squishy gummy northeast india pale ale really freaking dope brewery awesome freaking series love it 4.3 caps from the craft of our tastes that'll do it for this episode i hope you join me again for another episode where i drink i review i rate and then i repeat cheers guys